Welcome back guys to another vlog. Yes, today we are back at the shop again. Another day at the shop guys. So our plan is to build one of our MC1 uh, bell crank version. So we are going to make that video next coming week or next following week. Then I'll show you part by part. So we will do part 1, part 2, part 3 until which part you need specifically for your chassis. So we will make into a episode as well I guess. So. I have so many winnings body shell, uh, this body shell all has memories. So with this Nick Yogomo body, I went to D110 and I basically uh, got 26th place or 25th place all over around battle. And then up there, if you guys can see, let me let me try and zoom in, oh that's the maximum zoom. So that is uh, Bagi-san's uh, brother, Gaku-san gave me that body shell. Uh, this is when I start YD2 EX and then this is a customer one. This was painted at the same time we paint together with Kojak. I bought this from James because I was in love with this body, performed very well, Tamiya with Liberty Walk. This was last year or last two years. I built uh, Ken has the red one, I had the blue one because I love blue. This was last year and then this one had a very special memory because I want to start building my own starting body shell with stickers so I started that. that this one is last two years I guess. Uh, I like Hayato's design but I went with the red and then suddenly became into pinkish. Uh, I was so unsure about the color. This is nothing to do with the painter. The painter did a phenomenal job. RC Dreamland is awesome. I don't know which color to choose, that's the problem. This one I bought it in Yatabe I think two years back. Very very cheap and now it's kind of limited edition. This is Adam's body and this was Azim who was building this body for me. Uh, full to stallion body uh, but Rafty style. So this is all my body shell collection guys. This is crazy guys. So really really crazy guys. I can't believe that we I had so much collection in terms of body shell guys. I. I couldn't imagine it. I had so many body shell, I didn't even know that um, I had that many body shell. So somebody's in the shop, they're actually maintaining, that's why I have to put my mask on. Uh, we have to follow SOP and protocol even though we are distanced, but inside the shop, we must always wear our mask. Uh, so we're gonna build this awesome MC1 bell crank version, black color one. We're gonna build one of this. I will show you guys the process of which part you need, which part you don't need. And we are going to build this with electronics and everything. We're going to make it into a series because a lot of you guys don't know, like, you guys want to buy Yokomo and then only buy this. No, you don't need to. You can buy the Yokomo parts like the toe block, gearing, um, and some certain other parts I will show you guys uh, separately. So, uh, we are going to start building this and I'm going to lay out some items right now from my table to show you guys that um, the parts that actually needed. So um, I have a couple like a plastic steering, plastic front bulk head, and then the front tower we don't need, we can use the this one. This is the HG conversion kit for the uh, bell crank version. So we can just use this and then everything is included in the kit guys. So we will go step by step process to show you guys everything that you need. You can buy the parts separately guys, you don't need to actually uh, buy a Yokomo kit then you can buy this, you don't need to, you can buy it separately. Alright, so the first thing that we need is toe block. So toe block comes in A, B, C, D, E. So if I suggest uh, to get the back D and E for the rear. For the front, you can choose B, C or A or B, anything you guys want um, to play with the toe. So, uh, we need toe blocks. Damper, we use back the original Yokomo damper, big ball damper, or you want to change to the Exxon one. You need to use back your UJ for the rear, uh, the Yokomo UJ. If you don't have, you can buy in single pieces. Every item that I show can be buy in single pieces. Uh, the rear knuckle, uh, rear knuckle, you don't take this one, this is the olden type one. Take the new type that can uh, that has an upper top one, the new type of rear knuckle, that would be great. Then you can buy the sus pin, 
Uh, this one is, uh, we don't need to use the upper one. We only use the rear and the front only. Let's see, what else do we need? Uh, okay. All right, so the next thing you need is your bucket. So your front bucket, you can use either plastic or aluminum. Uh, you want more lightweight, you can use all the way plastic and then the rear you can add more weight towards it. But um, for me, uh, I would suggest to use aluminum if you guys can find there is a separate piece that sells aluminum one right here. This is a separate piece that they sell aluminum. So if you guys need it, you guys can get that separate piece. This is the bulk head that you need to use. Um, steering, uh, if you're using for a uh, bell crank, you need the steering linkage. So the steering linkage is like this, you got the plastic, you got the aluminum version. This is the version 1 type, the version 1. Uh, I suggest you to get the curved one, means you can adjust the length of your steering. That is the much better one from Yokomo. So you can get that one separately as well. Uh, for this itself, you don't need to use because you're using the HD conversion bell crank so that's in ref D part uh, I'm just showing you what your Yokomo parts that you need to use so inside the gearbox if uh, you need to use the two ideal gear the spur gear you don't need to because the spur gear come out by ref D inside the chassis already in now the spur gear for ref D is just a simple one time screw and lock so it's very easy to change your spur last time you have to draw out four now you can just draw out one of it, then you're good to go. Um, for Moto, we are using Ref D. For the battery, we are using Ref D. And then if you want to use a thicker battery, then you can up the spacer for this. This is a spacer. Uh, lower arm, front arm, we are using Ref D, so there's no issue. Knuckle, we are using Ref D. Basically, the servo also using Ref D. Uh, everything is basically almost completed. All you need is electronics. That is the last and not least is the ESC, the gyro and the receiver. So, um, if you guys want to use, uh, the, if you buy a remote that has two receivers, then you can separate means. Uh, for me, I have one slide rack, that is the red one. And I have one is the black one that I'm going to do in the future video. Then, you can have two receivers. I buy one 7PXR, the previous video. I have two receivers, so the two receivers will be going into uh, one into the slide rack and one into the uh, bell crank. So, um, other than that, um, for the gyro itself, I also have two different types of gyro. One I'm using the Futaba 55OD. I'm planning to get the another one is a Futaba 55OD, but now I have to reorder that. So, I'm using the V4 gyro for the bell crank one. And then uh, in order for you to enter this tow block, you also need to put uh, the bushings. So this is the bushings that you need to use. And then if you don't have the other parts like the, what do you call this? Ball end, you can buy ball end singly by Yokomo. Everything you can buy singly by Yokomo. If you have a lot of ball end like me, then you got nothing to be worried about. So bushings I have. Ball end, I have a lot of ball end guys, so I'm not worried to get this kind of things because screws, I can get it from uh, Ref D, screws, I can use all parts by Ref D, it's going to be awesome. If you want more lightweight, yes, you have to go with the titanium screw, but if you have just a normal screw, then the normal screw works as well, like so. So I have a lot of normal, normal screws now guys. So all the titanium screws I really use at uh, the slide rack. So for the bell crank, it's using normal screws. We will weight them everything together. Stopper, ref D, lower arm, uh, lower front arm, lower rear arm. Uh, this, springs, uh, the new springs. We're going to use the brand new springs and the new retainers as well. The 6mm one. And then the rear, we can use either 2 or 0. That will be nice. Or you want to use 4, also can, depending on your uh, rear weight as well. So for the brand new, uh, for the bell crank, we don't need to use this, the RT6006LN, because this is meant for slide rack. 
For servo, we have extra screws like so, and then the casing we can change as well. So we can do some colouring as well, but I prefer silver. Black and silver, easy to match. Next, we have a lot of parts of upgrade like drop screws as well. We have titanium as well, so we can upgrade that as well. And then you need turnbuckle. So turnbuckle, currently, you can buy it separately as well. Uh, so if you want to get turnbuckle, let me see where is the turnbuckle. So you can buy separately the piece, everything you can buy se everything separately. So here's the turnbuckle, you can buy it separately, you can buy this also separately. Um, you can buy uh, this separately as well, you can buy the dog bone to extend it to uh, 49 instead of 47. Everything can be changed. It's so easy and then the motor screws for the rear is really good to use this and then uh, the servo horn that we're going to use in the bell time. We can use the RevD model, the 13.5, very very nice model. We can use the RS ST servo and then we change the casing that is right up there. And then uh, charger, we don't need it because we already have a charger that is pretty awesome if I might say. And then, um, other than that, I think that's all done. So guys, you don't need a lot of things like uh, unnecessary things. So you don't actually need to buy a Yokomo chassis. Uh, if you want to, that is not a problem. You can keep the chassis or either sell the chassis for profit. But like I said, everything can buy separately. The cost of it won't be too expensive. Uh, if you want a full complete one, I think approximately with this and every set that you buy with the electronics, you can go up to 2006, 2008 to 3000 ringgit and you can almost get a full complete chassis of RevD and it's going to be really awesome. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do the project start. Uh, leave a like in this video if you guys want me to build the bell crank version. Uh, I'm excited to build the bell crank version. And uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, do you guys uh, do enjoy this kind of videos? Uh, are you guys excited? Let me know in the comment section down below. I want to know everything. If you guys are brand new, don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on your notification post so you won't miss videos like this, guys. Woo! Really awesome, right? So, um, so yeah guys, uh, there is not a lot of things that you need to buy from Yokomo. A lot of people think, oh, it's very complicated. No. I will make a video for which parts that you need to buy. I will list down the price here in this video. This video will also go to Team RevD Malaysia's YouTube page. So don't forget to follow that page as well. Uh, I'll be the commentator and your MC for that channel. Uh, so I will list down everything in the price of what you need to build a MC1 bell crank version or either the slide rack. It's the same. Just the difference is the steering. So either you spend a little bit more for the slide rack because the steering for the slide rack is very expensive or you just use what you have for the bell crank. For bearings, you can buy it all separately also. So you've got nothing to be worried about. So yeah guys, um, we will start the building, I think, process would be starting maybe next week. We will start, I will start listing down what I need to buy, uh, what is not, uh, what I don't have yet. So I can list down everything and buy everything one shot. And then we can start building the chassis uh, step by step, episode by episode for Rev D chassis. It's a very, very nice chassis, guys. I really, really like the Rev D chassis. It's so good. So, so good guys. I do suggest you guys come uh, and test out before buying and I think you guys would really enjoy uh, to uh, build this chassis and you guys will find the parts and order the parts single pack. Don't need to order a lot, just the right amount. I'll write down the list, I'll put down on the list video. Next week, we'll start building the chassis. Uh, and next week, hopefully, I will get to show you my Rev D MC1 slide rack uh, chassis because my chassis right now I'm doing some tuning and it's at home and every time when I want to upload this at home it will be a little bit problem because my working time like I said I'm working here guys uh, my working time is not as so much flexible like I can go back at 7 now so I got to upload here I have to end things here in the vlog 
So it'd be quite rare if I'll go back and upload it. So it's really difficult. So anyways, 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 guys, do feel excited for the upcoming videos. Uh, if you guys got any questions regarding RC Drift, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try and reply as quick as possible. And don't forget, once again, click the subscribe button and turn on your notification post so you won't miss things like this. And it will be awesome content upcoming. So without further ado guys, I'm Nick Lim Vlogs. I'm gonna sign it out because, because, because I am going to actually touch up the customer's car. Tomorrow he's coming to check out his chassis. I think he will love it. Um, final tuning, angle, everything is done. Everything anchor man, uh, rear toe, front toe, uh, turbo, boost, everything is set and it's perfect uh, for me. I don't know how the customer feel. I have to ask him in the end of the day. So please stay tuned. I'll see you guys for tomorrow's vlog. Peace out. Oh.